You can hear it in the introductions there. So much talent here in this girls section of the Elite Mile. State champions, college commitments littering the field. We're underway. Elite section of the mile here on Runner Space. AJ Ricketts, Ben McGrath, glad to have you with us. We'll cut in at the cones here on the outside. Chloe Hewler of Lake Ridge enters the top seat time of 444. Yeah, she, she ran that out of Arcadia not too long ago or in early April. Chloe Hewler, definitely the number one seed coming into this one. She's got the sixth fastest mile and the sixth fastest 1500 in the nation. Looking to add on to that resume here today at the Twilight Relays. Out quick early is Emma Bennett from Jesuit. One through six single file and then a big chase pack follows. Bennett from Jesuit in <coughs> enters with a 447 personal best, 68 or 69-12 through the first lap in a few meters plus. Seven athletes here. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, yeah, 409 meters, of course, through the <laughs> when they when they get that first official time in the official miles, so 69.19 through 409, so 67, 68 through what would be 400. I was going to say about seven athletes here under that five-minute barrier. Um, at least that's what they've done so far. Even more are seated. Well, 16 are seated below five here this afternoon slash evening. So could possibly be one of the faster races of the year for girls track and field, girls high school track and field. And you've got essentially all the top runners in the states in this section right here. Coming through lap two. 224. That last lap was 75. Dula remains in the lead. Schuler in that light blue singlet. A nice position on the inside, but closely followed by the rest of the pack. Ayers is giving her no gap. Not going on her hip yet, but making her presence felt right behind. Hewler injects even a little bit more pace. The slightest of caps there on the back stretch. So we're Hewler trying to put her stamp on this now. Yeah, I mean, she's seated seven seconds ahead of everyone else, discluding Emma Bennett, who I believe was a pacer. So Chloe Hewler trying to prove that. A lap in. We're on the bell lap here, a quick glance to her right. The pressure is forthcoming once more. This is anything but a done deal with one to go. And Sofia Rodriguez from Mercer Island, she's just a freshman holding on to, top, to one of the top runners in the country. 400 meters to go. Rodriguez made a lot of headlines throughout the cross and indoor season. Such a talented career ahead of her, has already made a name for herself. But can she take down Hewler here in this race? The junior, five meters ahead. It's a chase pack of three now. Rodriguez isn't done here. And neither are the two behind her. 200 to go. Bennett and see Lincoln Rodriguez are right here as well. Absolutely fighting, and here comes the surge. the outside, a new leader out in front. That's Lincoln. Ellery Lincoln of Lincoln High. Down the front stretch here. This is her race now. No one's gonna catch her here. What a finish here in the final 200 meters. That is a move well done. Ellery Lincoln takes the title. 
Look at the time, 443 flat. That's gonna put herself in good company. That has got to be one of the fastest times. Yep, that's gonna be number six in the country for Ellery Lincoln as she just snapped herself in the top portion of distance running in America. A statement to finish off the final 200 meters from Ellery Lincoln. And all throughout this field, you have top 30 marks. What an effort from Sofia Rodriguez, the freshman, finishing in third at 446. Hewler winds up in second, 446.22. Gutsy racing all around. Emma Bennett in fourth, 447. Ayers of Kowalitz in 448 finishes fifth. What can you say about Ellery Lincoln's effort here? No one went with her from that 200 mark on. Yeah, I mean, she just had the power. She had something left, just another gear. And boom, right across the finish line. It's a Twilight Relays record. And new US number six. And you can see the elation on her face there. Not disbelief, though, I'd imagine, as she looked confident passing the rest of the field, including Chloe 